Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One, and today I'm with my good friend, and he has a channel on YouTube, the Off Grid Mountain Homestead, and we're looking at a Flex Solar 200 watt uh, panel, and it is built like a folding uh, briefcase. It has hinges in the center, it has some latches on it, so you can shut it, secure it down, and then put it back in its padded case. This is a 200 watt panel, and it's a monocrystalline panel. So Flex Solar done a good job providing a monocrystalline panel, which is better at collecting you know, low angle sunlight and diffuse sunlight better than polycrystalline. So I'm, I'm very glad that Flex Solar provided a monocrystalline panel for this application. We're going to go to the back and it does have a built in charge controller, uh, which is very nice. And this charge controller is a pulse, pulse width modulation charge controller. So a pretty good little controller uh, considering for what it's used for. Uh, you also have maximum power point tracking charge controllers but for this application they use pulse width modulation it's a little smaller and lighter and for, for this application that's perfect uh, it has to be excited with a 12 volt or 24 volt power source to bring the display on as you can see the display is on right now it's connected to a 12 volt battery it's auto detecting it will pick up 12 or 24 volts and it will use its charging program depending on the voltage so I'm going to disconnect the battery and you can watch the controller die right there so you got to put a source to it a 12 volt source to let it know what it's charging with and once you connect your your load which would be the battery then you can come in and connect your solar panels to the back real simple and you can watch the voltage rise on there it's got a three stage charging algorithm it's got bulk absorption and float and it will do multiple batteries it will do lead, sealed lead acid it will do gel, AGM, it will do lithium iron phosphate, and lithium ion batteries. It's got user selectable menus in the controller, so you can pick your battery and how many cells your battery has if you're using lithium, four or five cell. So all that is user changeable inside the controller. So you can see this battery, regular 12 volt lead acid battery, has already been charged because this has been beta tested a few times. So we're at full capacity on this battery, so it's in float mode right now. So I want to show you another feature on it. We have this little to-go power box here that's kind of drained down a little bit. So I'm going to disconnect the 12 volt battery. And you can actually use the load cord on it, but they did not provide a load cord with the basic kit. So what you will do if you have a power box, you take your output from the solar panel and it's regulated, it's, it's within range of this box. So you just plug it straight up to the adapter. This adapter came with the box. And you can see on the little to-go power box, we're charging 65 to, well, it was about 70 watts. We're kind of getting some diffuse sunlight right now. It's a real low angle. So, you know, full bright sunny day, it'd do great, but the sun's kind of cantering off of these panels right now. And you could use the adapter and wire it into the load side and charge your power box and a regular battery at the same time. So this gives you some options. Uh, if you have a dead car battery, you can charge it with this. Uh, it is foldable, has a nice metal frame, so you can put it outside. Um, so this has some application. Is this what you want if you're going to do a permanent setup at your house? Definitely no. Uh, this is one if you want to be portable, if you want to move it from place to place. Uh, this will probably work for you. Um, so I will leave a link for you to check it out. Uh, this machine or this panel was given to me absolutely free. Uh, I'm making no money off if you buy one. Uh, so I'll provide you that link to the company. Uh, so this is just another option. They make you know, regular panels that you put on your roof that don't fold. They make the ones that are a lot smaller that fold, but this is sort of the, in the middle. Uh, this will give you a good glass panel with a built-in charge controller. So thanks for watching.